All right, let's see. Child, I command with 6,000 voices. As I stare into your soul, six million join. As I crush your spirit, it is with six billion hands, all with one voice, my voice. That is power. Like that? (laughs) You know, to me, especially in this world, 2021 more than ever, and this last year in the pandemic, it's made me realize like what is important and as, as an actor, you know, everyone, and the actor dream is often to win the Oscar or win the BAFTA or win the Golden Globe and give mm-hmm. the speech. Um, but I've realized that's, I, I'd take it, but it's not, it's not why I'm here. I'd rather, I'd rather inspire people and inspire people, especially people from uh, less fortunate backgrounds to follow their dreams. And I think a great way to do that is to play one of these iconic characters that people relate to and you know some of the messages i've got have been uh actually unbelievable how much impact these characters have so um the overall answer to the question is i have no idea (laughs) i know not everybody is willing to or able to risk a bag over um something like representation in tv but i was and i am so I, you know, am able to, and so I did. Um, and I just think it's uh, really interesting to see the reactions and the, like, the difference between summer 2020 and now, like, all the black squares, all the diversity promises, like, whatever happened with any of that? Um, nothing, really, <laughs> uh, from these studios and networks, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I have met so many young girls who say, I want to do what you're doing, but I like literally don't know how. And they almost feel, not even young people, but everyone feels like if you're on the news, you're taking kind of like celebrity status and you're unapproachable. Mm-hmm. And I hate that stigma because I promise I'm probably the most approachable person ever. Um, I love people. I love talking. I love learning why people are the way that they are, how they got to where they are today. I love stories. Um, and a lot of young girls don't feel like they can just talk to the news lady. Um, but then when they see, you know, my letters or they see my curls or anything like that, and maybe their mom's an AKA or their grandma or something like that, it's like that little bit of like, like it brings me down to reality. Like, oh, she's, I can talk to her. She's a regular person. She went to school. She, you know, joined an organization just like so and so in my life. And I really want to get the message clear that we're not celebrities. We're not famous. We're not, we're, I, we're really just telling stories that matter. And that's what I like to always say is I just tell stories for a living. I talk for a living. I don't ever say like I'm on TV. I, I, no, I just, I just talk. I talk and tell stories for a living. Um, and I love people. So. Anybody sees this and they see me out, please come talk to me. <laughs> Celebrated our anniversary last week. Wow. So yeah, um, he's a, this is family. Like, I, um, I adore these people. Um, they have really, I think we've all grown to love each other and just support each other for every career that we are working on. Um, Cause we all have different things that we're working on inside of the fandom, outside of the fandom, but I just really feel a connection with them because, like you say, when you said the chemistry, I mean, I feel like we do have chemistry. I feel like we've built a bond into that chemistry. So, I yeah, absolutely, and I also think it's amazing. Like you know, just the just human beings are just love. Like I never imagined when podcasts first started, like listening to them. You know, it's just not. I was like, oh, what am I going to listen to people talk? You know, there's radio, and it's like all I do is listen to podcasts and drive. Wow, no, it just it's taken over people's habits. So it's like it's kind of, you know, it's kind of kind of amazing that, you know, you guys create this thing and it's like this is this is the stuff. Like this is what people listen to. It's what I listen to. And, you know, radio's kinda radio's dead. It's like it's podcast now. It's way easier, it's more convenient, and it's fun and it's loose and you can kind of tune in. I, I just I love it. 
know, I made sure that it was, I made the absolute best product that I could make with the abilities and technology I had. And um, it was, it was a tough like year and a half while I was making it. I did a, pulled a lot of old nighters, but that not because it was necessary to do, but because I, uh, I didn't manage my time well. I, sir, I don't recommend pulling old nighters, but I did because I messed up. But, um, you know, it was, um, it was a lot of work, but, you know, it, it absolutely paid off. So it was a lot of, you know, it's just working hard and just caring about what you do. If you're, if you're working on a personal project and you're kind of like, I'm not having fun, uh, I would say it's, I wouldn't, it, don't give up, but be like, what changes do I need to make to this so that I am having fun so that I do finish it? So it's like, you're always allowed to change something and adapt it to your needs to make it more interesting, more entertaining, more uh, exciting to uh, want to work on. Oh God! <laughs> I was I it just the Rock at DC Fandom last year. He was talking a lot of junk about what he was going to do to Superman in the Justice League. And now that we done seen what happens when you pull up on the Justice League, now that we've seen <laughs> that you can be an uh, agent of Apocalypse or oh, Dark Side himself. <laughs> I just want to know, what would Cyborg say to Black Adam when he catches him talking mad junk? I just want to know. Oh, what would Cyborg respond to what would, what would be Cyborg's response to uh, he, Black Adam calling out the Justice League? He'd probably first. He'd probably ask, "Well, Black Adam, what are your powers?" Ooh, Eddie King. Black Adam proceeds to start. <laughs> Telling Cyborg about his power, Cyborg will probably go, It doesn't matter what your power is! Let's go! <laughs> uh, so, uh, I think ultimately, you know, it, tech versus magic is always one of those interesting kind of things, right? I mean, magic in the superhero world is kind of tough for me in general, because, uh, you know, there generally are very many rules that I can follow and for me I like to be able to say okay well this is kind of what could happen maybe sort of what could happen um but it makes it a bit tougher I don't think I mean Black Adam don't want to smoke with the whole, with the whole league though. let's go he said the, the whole, whole league, league the though the whole the whole of it <laughs> D normally we wrap it up on more diversity we we, we, we give them a, a nice little little tiblet of a word of wisdom but since you're here and probably one of the wisest characters you've ever played was Professor X. Can we yes. can we have Professor X give a send out to close us out for the show? Would you mind uh -huh. you know, call you phoning see, him um, up? Yes, Professor X, uh, just be good to one another out there. And um, don't forget to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you find Logan, he owes me a cigarette. <laughs> 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 <laugh